Dia mungkin datang dari background yang ada orang kisah yeah, Dan bila true. dia dapat married to someone yang kisah Dia mm. rasa macam oh I'm loved But actually tak Assalamualaikum and hello Welcome to Aisha Rahman Advisory Podcast And I am Julia. For the first time ever, we'll be hosting the podcast today. And here we are. We have a very familiar face, the CEO, the mother of mothers, Puan Aisha Rahman. What up, G? <laughs> Since this is my first time, we are going to play a game. If you are familiar with this game, it's called Red Flag or Green Flag. If you are not familiar with this game, it is similar to traffic light. If it's red, that means stop. If it's green, that means then you can go with it. Same goes to relationship. If it's a red flag, then it's a sign for you to stop. We have five questions. The first one is when he wants you to spend all of your available time with him. Right, is one, that two, three. Red flag. Why is that a red flag, Aisha? Because why do you want to control me? Yes, exactly. <laughs> exactly what I was thinking. That's why I raised the red flag. The second question, when he wants to separate the assets. One, One two, two, three. three. Green flag. Why is that a green flag for you? Because although we are separating our assets, but I would still have access to his assets. After all, I am the financial planner. Betul tak sayang? That is true. I have the same opinion as her. I have watched her podcast before. So I am completely agree with that. The third one. When he volunteers to take care of all of your money. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> right flag That is a right flag And why is that Aisha? Because first of all You don't control me You don't control my money We are two separate individuals Coming together So we should have access And literacy to our own assets But we can bolehlah Bincang macam gini No problem We have the same words as her The next one When he want to check All of your social media account One, one two, two, three, three. Right flag That is a no-brainer Why is that Aisha? No-brainer lah No-brainer lah <laughs> we have our own privacy So I have my own phone You have your own phone Okay, Tapi, let's start okay. Kalau I check phone you You kena bagi Okay Ah, uh, Okay Mother of mother speaking <laughs> Okay Now Last but not least When he wants to talk When something is wrong One, okay. two, three Green flag Tak that, sama jawapan kita semua uh, Sama lah Awesome Great minds think alike ah, yeah, man. Uh, Since I think you can guess The topic of our podcast today It will be about toxic relationship As we all know Toxic relationship can be emotionally draining mm -hmm. It can be physically damaging Some of the long term effects Include the cycle of abuse We have also fear of abandonment And also it will affect our children In major ways What can you tell me about the cycle of abuse That we have right in front of us Maybe current issues I don't want to quote anybody But I'm just saying what I've seen mm -hmm. Is we run our women and wealth workshops mm -hmm. Now the cohort 6 now Alhamdulillah Who would have thought What I've seen among all my students And also the women who have come to our masterclass Is that they cannot leave a relationship And when I ask yeah. why I probe Oh I'm a stay at home mother mm -hmm. Okay Or maybe some of them are not stay at home moms Maybe some of them also have their own income mm -hmm. Is this that maybe the opposite gender The spouse is the one you know Carrying all the financial responsibilities in the family And kita sebagai seorang wanita the ones that I see or the ones that I am connected to Bila cerai je, confirm lelaki Right? And a kahwin baru And a buat anak baru But what happens to the past wife or the ex-wife and the kids? So tiba-tiba wanita ni yang tak pernah bekerja Or do not have sufficient income Because the years that they've been married Suami yang banyak tampung Then what happens to these women? So that's why a lot of women They are stuck in their toxic relationship For the very reason Kenapa? Do it Even if you do have financial literacy It is a start But it's not the ticket Untuk completely get out of a toxic relationship or marriage But having said that It is the first step mm. Not just for us as women But also so for children yes. And sama juga Kalau orang yang tak kahwin pun kan Ramai orang kat luar sana Yang dating Maybe because factor umur Dah makin meningkat 3 series and above kan Gang-gang I lah 3 series and above You tak kahwin lagi And you rasa macam Oh my god Susahnya nak cari suami Yang you know Dalam kategori 3 series juga Or 4 series Or 5 series So you succumb to that fear And you say tak Takpelah I just stay put Because after all He has his own wealth I have mine A Different kind of abuse pula mm, Because you takut true. You rasa macam You tak laku Tapi mm. boleh je Dalam women wealth workshop Semua my lady Semua hot Kaya berjaya dan hot Oh, Masya Allah And they don't have any other distraction For them to get 
their success. Yeah. So that's what we want. How do you define toxic relationships? Let's say some people, they would define that as only limited to physical abuse. Some people, they don't really take into account the emotional abuse. Some people don't even realize that. Mm. So what are the things that you think we need to focus on that you need to take that sign and go? Take that as a red flag. What are the things that you think other than the obvious signs? As women, I feel that we have this thing called intuition and sometimes we just abandon ataupun tak dengar. Padahal the inner voice is telling us something because we're all given inner voice whether we are trained to listen or just disregard. So, one of the things that I see when it comes to defining toxic relationships, it, it can mean different things. Sebab orang selalu rasa toxic tu maksudnya kena pukul. Tapi apa yang kita mula nampak, especially after COVID, dia bukan je kena pukul but rather also mental abuse, financial abuse, being absent or being involved with a narcissistic person. I mean, benda-benda ni kena google apa benda tu ya. These are terms yang orang macam, ha? Huh? Suami I bagi I makan, suami I bagi I rumah. True. Kenapa I tak bersyukur, you know? But if we dig deeper, those are actually signs of abuse. Tapi kita tak dilatih untuk melihat those things. Second, lack of support from many angles. Maybe spiritual, emotional, mental, financial, physical. Banyak. Kita kena expand our definition of abuse yeah. to many angles. And juga orang kata, oh, laki you tak kisah. Tapi we also have the certain kind of a group where lelaki dia ter-over kisah. Mm. Ter-over yeah. control. Baru ni dekat social media, I nampak ada keratan, ada brother Shopee ke apa tak mm-hmm. nak hantar delivery. Mm-hmm. Biasalah orang Shopee, lelaki lah yeah. obviously, right? Yeah. Want to send delivery. Tiba-tiba that top Shopee guy dapat message, jangan hantar COD kalau I tak ada kat rumah. That is a sign of being in a relationship where in a way it is abusive. I'm yeah. um, controlling. Cuma mungkin wanita tu dia mungkin datang dari background yang ada orang kisah. Yeah, Dan bila true. dia dapat married to someone yang kisah, dia mm. rasa macam oh I'm loved. But actually, ta. That's right. just an example. It's a sign of abuse actually. Like what Aisha said just now, all of those uh, emotional abuse can also be counted as you are in a toxic relationship. I have a friend of mine. She is actually emotionally abused because she has been gaslighted so many times. Mm. And I as a friend, I have advised her so many times to same things over and over and over and she still does not realize that she is in a toxic relationship mm. you have to take yourself out of the denial box mm. I think so that's one of the it time you know yeah, to shift true. into you know from denial to acceptance to you know really seeing the truth it takes time sometimes it takes a lifetime sometimes mm. never at all maybe that friend mm. of yours she mm. has you mm. but siapa you in the context of her making a decision an influential person what I mean itulah banyaklah layer-layer nak kena that's peel true. actually yeah that's true I agree one of the things that you have to do is prioritizing your financial stability in order for you to gain your freedom once you have stepped out of the denial box okay now how does financial stability correlate with freedom Aisha? oh it's everything from life to business to marriage to parenting okay what comes to you when I say freedom freedom is when what, I what am what kind of feeling comes to you feeling feel yeah. liberation I feel I am free to do whatever I want I light. have to f- like light light like, you feel light like when I say yeah, yes, I feel light yes, yes okay. that's true so lightness is something that imagine like you're carrying this baggage mm. right? so it feels heavy mm. right so there's no freedom but the opposite of that is lightness how can we just you know let go of that baggage that we're carrying mm. and then feel light so that we can move forward it's a process so but what I've seen in our women in wealth bookshop kan, there have been few women who come to our program with a secret intention of nak bercerai oh. but we don't promote divorce no but it is an option at the end of the day having said that before you want to take that step that leap of faith to finally you know go separate ways after being married for over a decade or more is you have to make sure you audit diri you cukup tak mm. cukup in what context Julia cukup maybe in the money lagi other than money uh, and akhirat lagi education support mm, like support. other than yeah. Uh, yeah, other support. than actually yeah. support if mm. I were to rank it I feel mm. like support is number one support is number one and a lot of us we do not have that support to us family is support but yeah. to some people family is not support yeah. so because of that we suppress and suppress and suppress while mm. hal divorce although tak digalakkan but if it's so abusive for you you should pack up and leave eh satu pergi sepuluh hari kita kena ada mindset gitu ya wanita-wanita women and wealth workshop so coming back to my point we've had students where they come to women and wealth workshop to have the support mm-hmm. and also to audit their finances betul ke I nak cerai because I've been married to this bloke for the last 10, 20, 30 years and once they've seen their finances they can see how far they can go they can see that oh actually anak-anak okay actually nafkah is just a bonus because a lot of people oh kalau I cerai mesti tak dapat nafkah hey so what man rezeki tu Allah punya Allah boleh tarik rezeki dia boleh bagi dekat you tapi niat you untuk go separate ways mm. kenapa mm. kalau macam sengaja because dah tak sehaluan ok lah 
not going to comment on that this is specifically on being in toxic relationship and whether do you leave or not because the question here is how does financial stability correlate with freedom daripada sekarang macam contoh you in your 20s I'm in my 30s although some, you know dalam man I rasa macam I'm in my 20s but freedom is a feeling mm. freedom is lightness peace of mind how are you going to get that do you think that by going through a course in financial planning can lead you to that no it's just a part of the process but you got to look at the bigger context as to why you want this freedom kenapa apa ni ada Hmm, that's true I also think that Other than financial stability Peace of mind is something That you have to Prioritize more Because one of the things That if you cannot see the sign That you are in a toxic relationship I think When your peace of mind Is disturbed mm. That's when you have to Find out the root of that That's how If you are still blind By this That's where you have to See the reason of that The reason behind The disturbed peace of mind Let's say Our lovely viewers Now they have the epiphany They have like <gasps> aku dalam toxic relationship what should they do the road map mm. to their future okay. how to get out of that for me pause dulu I teach our students to pause and pause all the time mm. because as women we're so fast in reacting I see. kan macam yep. sentuh benda panas terus mm. react mm. lepas tu kita ni dah lah akal pendek lepas tu mulut keluar tak apa-apa kata-kata sakit ke hati orang lain so I think in this context really pause especially when it comes to you know a big decision such as separation or divorce for those who are married and separation for those who are in a relationship you gotta pause and re Really, really 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 analyze the green flag and the red flag kadang-kadang kita ni time of the month kan period kan terus fikir red flag sebab kita pun tengah red flag so apa kata kita revisit that thought and that question time kita tengah bersih yeah. because ala kita pun sama kan hmm. bila kita tengah you know menses PMS. tengah tak betul so you want to audit yourself in both situation green flag and red flag pertama kedua what are the signs some of the signs are feedback from our support uh, ataupun yes. our circle. circle tapi jangan ambil dari seorang je yeah. tengok berapa banyak feedback orang dah bagi hey i think you know because if you care for your friend you you are one of the person yang akan hmm. bagi tahu dia hmm. dia nak ke tak that literacy yes. and accept hmm. sometimes like you said denial box yeah. and a lot of women live in the, that denial box till yeah. the end of time and then they play this game tau Julia oh semua orang sakitkan hati I yeah. semua orang tak sayang I I'm a victim I'm this I'm that kalau umur you 20 mak okay je tau nak cakap macam gitu umur you 30-an macam I mak okay je tau tapi kalau benda tu you're in your 40s and your 50s 60s and you're forever a victim oh my god you just want attention lah I'm sorry you just nak attention you tak nak perubahan pun ha terus see that <laughs> You so, need to listen to that ladies Yeah, you just want attention So face the truth And I'm very brutal with my honesty Do you want attention Or do you want action? Ah, It's time to wake up Number one, reflect, reflect. Betul ke dia ni toxic? Ke I yang toxic? Ah, ladies, kita selalu tengok orang lain Cuba ambil mirror tu Tengok diri sendiri sekejap Sometimes kita pun sama je dua kali lima Sometimes kita yang torture orang tu So this is me learning from my journey eh, Going for therapy and whatnot. Having said that, the second one is of course Lepas dah decide Okay, I really want to file You know, for separate and move on and be on my own and I think it's healthier in that sense from now yep. till the end of time mm. so second is kewangan lah for sure mm. yep. so kewangan a lot of people you know I tengok dekat social media buat dia ajar budgeting tapi budgeting ni konteks dia sangat meluas one of it is the cost for support cost for therapy throughout the course of your life when you're with this person for a while and then bila you are on your own awal awal tu best lah lama-lama when reality sinks in you macam crap I'm really on my own so kewangan is the next big thing yep. okay I nak you bayangkan Julia you belum yep. kahwin kan belum. imagine kalau you are in a toxic relationship mm. tapi you ada duit you berani tak nak angkat kaki eh berani kenapa sebab ada duit ha sudah lah hot ada yeah. duit lah tu kan oh my god tapi <laughs> tapi reverse that yeah. you hot tapi duit you macam you pun tak tahu duit you pergi mana hmm. would you berani tak nak angkat kaki I would think twice thrice mm. hmm. and what's that thing that's preventing you from considering because I don't know how to do this I would always ask for my partner's help mm. even though he's toxic so I would like tutup mata lah but hmm. the women who's sweeping and still sweeping and let me hmm. tell you especially if you have children yeah Your kids are watching. If you are a woman and you sweep your marital problems, financial problems under the carpet, your kids, especially daughters, what they are learning is that it's okay for men to treat me like that. And if you have boys, you are teaching them indirectly, oh, it's okay for me as I, when I grow up as a man, it's okay to treat women like that. So the cycle becomes very vicious, very toxic. Mm. It's not just you, but you're not breaking the cycle. And That's it's true. such a gift for us to have courage. Right? I, I think there was a tagline from one of the movies, have courage and be kind. Have courage and be kind. 
start with ourselves and then kita move dekat orang lain but really preserve and protect ourselves because self-preservation is not wrong mm, that's true I really agree with that. So ladies, I hope you are listening to that, especially if you think, you know, if you are in the gray area, I hope this can be your wake up call. I have a question, Aisha, for you. What are other things that they can do, like, before they get out of the relationship? Like, mm. right now, just now, we have already discussed that. But now, the strategies. So number one, start with the end in mind. You nak belah ke, you tak nak belah. Mm. You yang red flag ke, dia yang red flag. Number two, check your finances. And you have to list down all of your commitment. Mm. Not just for you, cost untuk divorce or separation there's a cost what if this guy tak nak lepaskan you sebab boleh dek and you have to pay for your freedom you have to pay I know so many women around my age or older yang pay for their freedom now mm. and the cost tengoklah how vicious and toxic that guy is some of the cost even shoot up to six figures mm. itu baru the price of freedom price of lawyer masuk court lagi different people you know face different unfortunate situations so kita benda ni pun kita nak minta berdoa selalu dipermudahkan for exit strategy then after that once you've listed down all of your finances people call it budgeting eh tapi budgeting ni dia kena lagi in detail because what if nafkah tak masuk mm-hmm. so bila nafkah tak masuk you lah pemberi nafkah tu tapi jangan risau sebab Allah tu adil mungkin sekarang you terlepas nafkah dunia you dia punya nafkah akhirat ah, so jangan selalu mengatur orang tak apa Allah yakin Allah tu adil and if you can right before nak lead to that separation or final decision to exit cari additional income some people you know it's like a seesaw kan expenses higher than income macam mana? macam mana ni? Oh, expenses higher than income ni memang parah lah susah lah nak exit Abi, leaving paycheck to paycheck expenses and income sama ha, tapi kalau you category income higher than expenses then you are slightly in a better position but don't be too comfortable because yeah. despite having surplus that cost that surplus could have been you know channeled to lawyer fees mm. or you know potentially nak absorb cost anak-anak mm. kalau anak 1, 2 ok lah kalau anak sampai 5, 7, 9 kan ha, different people have yep. got that different responsibilities if you can get additional income Alhamdulillah but it's, it's easier said than done Jalia mm. it's really I mean Think about yourself. Yeah, that's why. Yeah. I'm, yeah, uh, that's penat. why I'm still thinking. Should I get married? But you. Eh, know, sh- <laughs> I'm just kidding. Lah. No, 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 no. Okay, that's another story. <laughs> for the next time if you want to know more about what we do how we can help you to achieve your definition of freedom leave toxic relationships and whatnot, please leave your details in this link below to, for you to get a copy of our latest ebook and inshallah if diberikan kemudahan dan izin see you at our upcoming masterclass happening very very soon if now you are listening to this and you realize about the situation that you are in you can always ask for help if you don't have your family to support you because mm-hmm. some people they live a different life you can always seek support from any other support helpline for women we have a lot of them in Malaysia you can just google them as we wrap up today's episode allow me to remind you that breaking out of toxic relationship take financial stability and it's a really tough journey by taking step towards financial independence you are reclaiming your power you are being courageous remember if you are in one you are not alone seek support for collaboration you can email us at marketing at aisharahman.com thank you for tuning in until then be a queen empowered and seen bye bye